That's right, my navel right there. Here's my knee. I can feel it, but I don't think it's, it's not firing off. Back of my head. I got an Invaders from Mars one in there somewhere. I had one setting it off right here yesterday. Oh, there it is. What if I turn up the sensitivity? I'm going to try it with a higher sensitivity. It's interesting how it went off <laughs> like that right as I was trying to set it, or if that's affected the sensitivity. So now let's try. Okay, that's my knee. Okay, so was it this place called? Uh, worldview center or something like that and I was trying to scan my body for some of the um, radio frequency devices that I know are in there and I've found over the past couple days um, sometimes they fire off and sometimes they don't but what I was finding in that location was that when I turned on the um, radio frequency tracer all of a sudden I would get really strong signals it seemed like from across the street that were interfering with my ability to calibrate it or you know it was causing interference so that was kind of a new one for me so now I'm in a different location now I'm just sitting in a random spot on Mount Tabor um, mostly underneath tree cover so let's see what happens when we turn it on this time so my believe that the way you do this is you turn it up until you get a signal and then you turn it back down. So it's still kind of doing that. I don't know. It wasn't doing that yesterday. So either something's weird about it. Or somebody's deliberately interfering with it. Okay. All right. Now, yesterday when I was doing this, and I didn't have any camera, when I first did it, they would set off in short timed bursts. Then last night I tried it, and it was more steady, but it was only certain areas. My right palm was setting it off very strongly last night. It's not doing anything right now. And my right knee was setting it off really strongly last night. It's kind of going on and off now. So it looks to me like this is something that can be manipulated from the outside. There's my right knee again. That's what I went and had x-rayed at the doctor. They said there was nothing there. But I know that there is. Because it feels like a knife. Sometimes. Alright, let's try this again. Foot. Ankle. Left knee. It's not my knee, it's right below my knees. Right there. That's my left knee. The 
That's my right knee. Right knee. Right leg. Isn't that interesting? So now it's going off willy nilly. I'm turning it down, but I think that's what they want me to do. See, they, I think what's happening is it's getting interfered with, and so then I turn it so far down that it's not going to pick up any of the signals. Is it certainly was not behaving like this the last two days I tried it, where it's going from zero to a hundred. That's why we need agencies that are supposed to protect us from crimes to do this for us. People can't afford these things. People can't afford this stuff. People can't afford to do their own investigations. We need help. Here I am again on Mount Tabor, a different part of Mount Tabor. Now I'm above Reservoir 6. And I'm going to try it again, just for the heck of it. Okay, I calibrated it already, but it's still being a little goofy because look, it's going off for reasons that I don't understand. And so here it is. Alright, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Left knee. See, that's what happens. They make it go, I calibrate it, then it goes nuts, and then I recalibrate it, and then it's not sensitive anymore. So it's how I think it's being done to foil the... They say the right way to do this is in a place, obviously, where it's controlled for outside signals. But why is this a game to people, you know? These are our bodies. I know why. It's because, you know, they're not being held accountable for this stuff. They aren't being forced to do the right thing, and so they're doing the wrong thing. Now, see, I'm turning it down, and it's not, it's not going off. I'm turning the sensitivity. All right, I'm gonna go turn it back up. Turn it way up. I got lots of planes flying over me right now. So there's my knee. Knee's still setting it off. Left knee's not setting it off. Wow, that plane's buzzing me. Looks like my head's setting it off, is it? Or is it just random? No. <laughs> so obviously this needs to be done where, again, it's being controlled for outside frequencies. That's my hand. That's my head. That's my head. It's the back of my head, back top. So that's definitely going something firing off right there. Okay, it's nothing.
It's the back of my head, my neck, really. There's my foot. There's my other foot. So there it is, just sitting on the ground. Pick it up. Put it on my knee. That's my knee. That's my right thigh. my knee. That's my right eye. My right eye. How about my right ear? That's my right ear. I've stuck it into my ear. This is my left ear. This is my left eye. Not making any sound right now. I do have implants in both eyes. I have implants in both nostrils. That's my left nostril. That's my right nostril. That's my neck. It's behind my right ear. I have a bunch of little implants in the right side of my scalp, right here, where I'm pointing to right now. I get electric shocks that are very painful. This is where I get shocked. My whole head is going off. Especially the right side, which is where that's the left side behind my ear. It's the left side behind my ear. Again, the right side. The left side. The right side. The left side. The right side. I'm pretty concerned about this actually. There seems to be some type of circuit. It's the top of my head. feel like a sim character. Back of my neck, which has been sore for days. Not firing off right now, but in a little bit it is. There are several implants in my navel area. There are implants inside my body, my digestive system. 
This is sort of off to the right side of my navel right here where I'm pointing it right now. I'm getting a little bit of a signal that I feel that frequently. That's the other side. my knee again. Like I said, my hand sometimes sets it off too. But it's not right now. So, I don't know. It's pretty... What do you do? I'm pointed to the lower part of my jaw right now, my right jaw, beneath my ear. Now I'm pointing it behind my ear. Now I'm pointing it in the place where I tend to get shocks, electric shocks. My right temple. There you go. that.